I was trying to get it I live I want them dead presidents I want to pull up head spin get it get fly I got six jobs I don't get tired I don't get I don't get tired I don't get I don't get tired I don't get I don't get tired get it get tired I got six jobs I don't get full time for the full time artist Ex guard, he said, grind harder, learn from every time you ever fail. If it never fail, just grind smarter. Iron sharpen, you the dag on they hindquarters and they all acting. Rap game, I'm a pall bearer. Kill me, get a call after. First look, it was all laughter. Kevin Gates, no small matter, made men believe when they didn't believe. Dive in the crowd, no safety holders. Got in the booth, no safety on it. Aiming, I sh- all right, guys, have no fear. Um, as you can see, I am properly decked out in my uh, Kwai gear. Uh, some of you guys yelled at me for having a Caspa t-shirt on the other video. Uh, don't worry, I love Caspa, but uh, I am also a Kwai guy. So um, anyway, with that out of the way, I wanted to um, show you guys uh, what I'm about to build. I'm going to do one last, hopefully last, uh, rental AI build with this 4090 I just grabbed. I've been kind of trading out of some of my 3000 series cards. Still got some to get through, and I'm still mining on some with solar. Um but uh, what I want to do is like a, what I think is a decently like medium tier build. I'm going to be doing a Risen 9 um, with some DDR5, uh, 6,000 megahertz, 64 gigs of it, um, a socket AM5 motherboard, obviously, and the, the 4090. And so I'm going to do this build with a one terabyte uh, solid state um, M2 SSD, uh, MVME SSD. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it up on Okta and I'm going to see... If um, upgrading from like the Risen 5, or I'm sorry, the Risen 7 5700X up to the Risen 9 um, is going to be able to fetch me a little more. Um, also hopping up to a little bit uh, faster RAM. And so um, what I think um, and what my goal is here is to be doing like a little bit more of like a mid, low mid tier, like budget ish, but also still kind of viable build. You know, because at the end of the day, what, I'm stuck with the 4090. That'll still have some retail value, I'm thinking. So anyway, um, I'm going to build this, um, and I'm going to get it up uh, for, for rent, and I'm going to take you guys along with me and uh, show you a nice, cheap, easy, cheap-ish, you know, future-proof-ish uh, rental AI build that will still be viable for CPU mining, um, or if you just want to piece it out and sell it on Facebook Marketplace and eBay as a gaming rig, you know, so there's a lot of different angles you can take with this. So I'm just going to build a, a nice AI uh, mining-ish rental um, and get it up for rent. So let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm going to be unboxing here this Asus, not to be confused with Asus, uh, Tuft X870 uh, motherboard here. Um, I actually got this motherboard um, and this uh, Asus Tough Gaming OC, I think, no, Gaming... Um, 4090 for a pretty good deal together um, as a package. So shout out to Millerman if you're watching this. Thanks, bro. Um, and so I'm probably going to put this on like double speed. So we're going to go ahead and open this motherboard right now and, and uh, get this started. This is going to be the most crucial component to the build. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Motherboard is very important though. So here we go. Check this out. Check it out. Beautiful. Here we go. Gotta love the, uh, you know, uh, anti-static action there. Anti-static bag. That's cool. Brand new, unopened. Oh, lovely. So I'm actually pretty cheap, um, and I haven't grabbed any, uh, you know special 3d printed cases or anything i actually kind of like until uh it doesn't work anymore i actually kind of just like using the motherboard i think i got so used to like grounding motherboards when i first used to build pcs you know because if you had like the screws wrong in the case um and you know sometimes it wouldn't boot so i like would always take it out and build it on top of the motherboard and i think it just became such a habit i always do as the first build and then and then it's working it's rented i don't want to move it oh my god beautiful Look at that, four slots of RAM, socket AM5. Wow. All right, so I'm going to actually begin with, like I said, this on um, the box here. So, so there we have the motherboard. 
All right, guys, so if you're at all familiar with this process, um, the next thing that I think needs to be done is to get the CPU on. That's my first order of business. So um, I have the box set up over here where I'm going to plant this thing. The other reason I like using the box is I can see exactly what motherboard I got going on. So this, um, hopefully, you probably already know this if you're watching this, is where the CPU is going to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and build, um, and then, you know, we'll talk about it when we're done. So we need to get these brackets off. So we're going to go ahead and just take these bad boys off. Hopefully you guys can see that, you know, the little arrow right there you want to match up if you don't know that hopefully you do if you're doing this if you don't though pay special attention to that this little arrow here is going to match up with that arrow that's the way you know you get your pins lined up and so hopefully that should sit in there nice and snug that's good oh not sure how i feel about this action but okay All right, guys, so the CPU's on, uh, the heat sink and the fan. I attach these with these little brackets here. Um, and then I put the RGB lighting hooked up there, which increases hash. Everybody knows that. Um, and then the fan to cool it, which is not nearly as important as the RGB. So uh, now I think what it's time to do um, is pop in some RAM here. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and throw in the RAM, the solid state drive here, the NVMe M2, um, and then we'll pop the GPU on there. So let's go ahead first and get this, um, uh, I guess it's like a little bit of a heat sink cooler situation here for the M2 drive. There's two M2 slots. So I'm going to use this, this bad boy here as the first one. Got the trusty iFix thing here. We're gonna pop that off. Hopefully. Just kidding. Yeah, and you can see, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but uh, NVMe is in. And then uh, the DIMM, the RAM slots, we have the, it always confuses me why A2 and B2 are first. So the gray ones are A2 and B2. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put that as 64 gigs of RAM. So it should be pretty solid. Point four volt. That's important um, because we're gonna 
run this at full tilt, 6,000 megahertz. So we're going to want to make sure when we go in the BIOS that we set this to 1.4 volts. Um, 3600, PC 3600 is usually 1.35. So just make sure you take note of that. You know how many volts you got there. Whoops. And make sure you put the RAM in facing the right direction. It's also helpful. Wow, you even got a nice heat sink. That's awesome. Corsair has always been a good brand. Trusty Corsair. So for their power supplies. Sorry, Corsair. Um, I'm not a big fan of your power supplies, if I'm being honest. Let's put a little EVGA power supplies. All right, RAM is in. Hard drive is in. You know what that means, guys. Time to get a power supply and a GPU uh, slapped on this X16 slot here. So that'll be fun. All right, so we're going to migrate this over to my rack here. Uh, first, we're going to put this on top of its beautiful, expensive, lovely cardboard case. Just kidding. Um, and then I got a ATX power supply over there. So we're going to just put this on top of the rack until I get everything outside. Um, and uh, so let's get that lined up. This is kind of temporary. I would actually like to get some nice better mounting situation. But for now, we're going to plop this bad boy right on here. Houston, we have... 4090. Okay, that's a good start. Uh, we're going to need power. Yeah, this bad boy. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this on over to the rack. Right, guys, so I just threw the my little power button here on the jumper. I got the 4090 in. Um, I actually just had an extra uh, EVGA 1300 watt power supply. Um, I moved down uh, the setup. This one's a little weak, so you know, I moved that one down. Um, and so now I have nice 44090s. I got a fifth one behind me, so clearly I might have to have six. But okay, this is it. Hopefully, I have the jumper on the right spot um, and everything's hooked up. This is the moment of truth here. Cross your fingers. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. It booted on first boot, uh, so here we go. There is a 9, 700X, 12 core. Uh, we got to hop into the BIOS, though. We got to adjust some of this stuff here. So um, I have not been in a Asus BIOS in a long time. So let me get some of this stuff situated. I want to make sure that I enable virtualization. Um, that's, okay, cool. So uh, I got to just make sure the RAM is all situated, um, and then we'll get booted in, and uh, we'll get this bad boy up for rent. All right, so I haven't been in a Asus BIOS in a while, so I just um, took a look around here. So I made sure that my memory frequency on my RAM was set to 6,000 megahertz. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is just you want to make sure virtualization is enabled. So uh, it's SVM mode here on an AMD processor. So that was already enabled, so that's cool. Um, and then I wanted to make sure that the voltage for the RAM was good, um, but it likes to stay in auto. So I'm just going to monitor that and make sure... Um, that it's good to go. And then it actually saw, uh, you know, my hard drive that's already booted uh, and formatted with Okta. So um, I have the other video that you guys can follow if you want to do the walkthrough of how to like set up the Okta space rental. That's what I'm going to be throwing this on. So um, that should do it. I think we're going to F10 out of here and and save our settings. All I really changed was the, the RAM uh, speed. So here we go. All right, guys, so she's all up and running. Um, and the last thing I want to do is calculate kind of like my revenue and profitability and ROI prospects here. Um, and so with this new gear, uh, I'm going to be targeting around 30 to 32 um, cents per hour. So if we were to do that calculation for 24 hours, and this is in revenue before the cost of electric, um, it would be bringing in about $7.68 per day. Now, you got to think about your electric rate, um, and I don't know if I'm going to actually get that. I've been getting around $0.28 cents per hour um, with my other 4090s, uh, so I'm hoping the CPU boost and the RAM speed boost will fetch a little more doll hairs here. So let's just go ahead and um, pretend that's the calculation. So $7.68 per day um, in Okta would be... Um, 
at these current prices, 24 octa, right? So 768 per day, that would be uh, across seven weeks, about $56, or we can do uh, a month, which would be four weeks. So we're gonna bring in about $215 of revenue here. Now, um, I think we need to calculate our power costs here. So at 10 cents, which actually let's do this with my, my home rate is 13 cents. However, caveat here, I'm going to put in this entirely on solar. So really, um, my power cost is actually going to be zero. But let's pretend that my power cost wasn't going to be zero. Um, and based on my experience with the other 4090 setups I have that have risen 7, um, 50, uh, 800Xs and 5700Xs in there, um, I'm, I, I end up averaging, I, it, it's really tough to say, I have to do an exact measurement, but let's just say like worst case scenario, let's just say I'm pulling around 400 watts, right? We got a 4090 in here and the CPU. So, uh, you know, I don't know if it's gonna be on full tilt, depends what it's getting rented for as well. So let's just call it 400 watts. Even if we did 500 watts at my 13 cents a kilowatt hour rate, mind you, I'm gonna be on solar, so I'm not really gonna spend any money on power. Um, that's gonna cost us um uh that's gonna cost us 69 cents get out of here that's gonna cost us sorry dollar 56 per day to run um this hardware so if we take our original what was it seven dollars and 68 cents in revenue and subtract our kind of like I think like worst case, it's not going to be running to do it and pulling 500 um, watts for 24 hours. That's That does not seem to be what's going on, but you know, I guess it's possible. So uh, let's just say hypothetically, that's what occurs. That would put us around $6 and 12 cents. Now let's just do that across the month. So that means they're going to do $183 in profit uh, per month with just kind of this one GPU and a strong CPU. So th those are kind of some of the ROI calculations here. <clears throat> now, Let's divide it by the cost. So you're gonna, you're, and this isn't exactly what I spent on the 4090, but let's just say you're buying a new 4090. I think they're going for around like 2,350 bucks right now. So you're looking at like $183 per month. That is a, that's a, that's actually not horrible. Um, a like slightly around, you know, a slightly over 12 month ROI. So um, that's not really exactly my plan. I'm gonna be mining on solar and then, you know, have this thing generating revenue and then I'll just turn around and swap, convert, sell that RTX 4090, um, probably into 5,000 series or, or something else. Once you know, there's more drivers, more adoption, you know, more revenue to be generated from the newer generation of cards. So that's kind of my game plan there. Hope you guys got something out of this. If you have any questions, just, you know, uh, hop into my discord and ping me. Um, and, uh, that's it. Good luck and have fun.